Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Google Pixel 3 XL. Now I'm gonna start off by answering the main question everybody been asking me all week. If you got a Google Pixel 2 XL, should you upgrade and get the Pixel 3 XL? And the answer is no. No, no, no. Do not do it to yourself. All right, y'all remember Goodfellas, Jimmy Two Times? <coughs> the papers, the papers. If you got the Pixel 2 XL and you upgrade to the 3XL, your new name is Jimmy Two Times. You just bought the same damn phone twice. All right, now, what's the difference between the two and the three? Really four major upgrades that's not worth upgrading. Number one, now you got an IP rating. All right, so now some of y'all don't really care about that. This one isn't water resistant. Now you got a water resistant phone. That's an easy fix. Waterproof cases run for about 20 bucks. Next. Now you got wireless charge. Now that is kind of a big deal, but again, you can buy a USB Type-C wireless charge adapter for any smartphone. It's gonna run you about 10 to 20 bucks. So let's put it on the high side, 20 bucks. So far, 40 bucks, and you almost got a Pixel 3 XL. What else? Now you got an updated processor. So now you got Snapdragon 845 versus last year's version. Okay, that seems like an upgrade in the real world, all right? Not in the paper world, in the real world, it's not really an update. You're gonna feel the exact same performance. And I'll talk about that in a minute because I rock these phones on the same day and use them both side by side. You're not gonna notice any difference in performance. All right, it's not like grabbing a Nexus 5 and then getting the Pixel 3 XL. You'll notice the difference. But from the two to the three, you're not gonna notice. And lastly, the camera. That's another upgrade you got from the three, from the two. You got an updated camera, but again, that's not even the biggest deal because the best part of the updated camera is Night Shot. And Night Shot, you can download to your Pixel 2 XL and you'll have it the same. Now, both of these cameras are arguably two of the best cameras in the game, even though this is last year's version. It's still one of the best cameras out. This updated camera, even though you got the dual cameras on the front, that's still not enough to sell this one for three or 400 and buy this one for a thousand bucks. It's not worth it. If you got a Pixel 2 XL, you still got dual speakers, you still got Quad HD display, you still got Android VIP, the latest version, you're still right in the head of the game. All right, so don't bother upgrading, just keep your Pixel 2. Now, just like any other phone that I review, there's always gonna be some things that I don't like, so let's talk about those first. Number one, the price. 1,000 bucks for the Pixel 3 XL, let's all say it together. <clears throat> The price is too goddamn high. All right, 1,000 bucks for this phone, no. Now they could have easily made this phone worth a thousand bucks if they would have fixed everything that I'm about to complain about. If all of these issues and my little gripes would have been resolved, yeah, I would have had no problems spending a thousand bucks on this phone because it does have some dope features and it does have a lot of stuff that I like, but as is for a thousand bucks, no, 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 no. You got too many phones in the market right now that you can get for the same price that basically do everything that this phone does and more and way more, <clears throat> way more, less money, way more phone. All right, so I'm not feeling the price. Next, no expandable memory. Now for me, that's kind of a big deal because I'm one of these old school dudes that still walk around with a bunch of micro SD cards <laughs> in my wallet. Some of y'all don't care. Now I know what y'all gonna say. Oh, you don't need expandable memory because of Google Photos. I use Google Photos too, but a lot of y'all don't realize that Google Photos is only gonna work if you have an internet connection. Now, if you're somebody that travels a lot, you're on those railroads, you're flying on the planes, and you don't have internet, that Google Photos is not gonna help you. And I'm speaking from experience. I caught a flight coming back from London. The flight had no internet. I had my phone ready to go. I was gonna be just breezing through my Google Photos and watching my little videos I took. No internet connection, I was asked out. Now, y'all uh, cast that follow me on Instagram. Y'all see me posting pictures, watching the Titanic. It's not because I was trying to get all emotional shit watching the Titanic. That was the only movie they had in English and I didn't have any internet connection and I had a phone with no expandable memory. Now, Google Photos, unlimited photos, that is a nice touch. But again, for 1,000 bucks, you got other phones <clears throat> that have micro SD card slots with expandable memory. For a thousand bucks, 
you got to keep up to the competition. Now, this is going to be kind of a rant video. Shout out to everybody that's new to my channel. I don't have a script. I'm just talking to y'all. The same way if one of my dudes asked me, yo, what do you think about this pixel? I'm going to sit down and talk to him and we'll argue back and forth. I'm doing the same thing with y'all right now. Where, where was I? You got to keep up to the competition. All right, Google, pay attention. Now, and this is going to be some of my other gripes too. You're charging 1,000 bucks for a phone and you didn't put expandable memory. Then you got other companies coming out with phones charging less or the same price and they drop an expandable memory. You got to keep up with the competition. All right, so I'm not really feeling that no expandable memory situation. Next, now this is another thing, four gigs of RAM. Now you mean to tell me I just spent a thousand bucks and all I'm getting is four gigs of RAM. Then you got companies like OnePlus coming out, <laughs> half the price, eight gigs of RAM. Now, I wouldn't really be too mad because a lot of times this stuff is just geek bench scores and paper specs. Paper specs don't really equate in real life all of the times, but this is one of those times, especially with the Pixel 3 XL, the RAM management is not the best. And one of the prime examples is if you're on a nap, let's take Instagram for instance, and this just happened to me the other morning. I'm on Instagram chilling, I'm breezing through, looking at the buns, here comes somebody, I gotta put my phone down real quick, have a conversation. Now I wanna open my phone back up to Instagram. As Soon as I pull up Instagram, it automatically refreshes and start the app over. I don't like that. Now if I were to do the same thing on my note, on my iPhone, I would've opened up Instagram right back to that same picture I was looking at. So four gigs of RAM for a thousand bucks, that's a no. Now even if it doesn't equate in real life, some people are gonna say, oh six gigs, four gigs, it's really the same. I don't care, Google, at least lie to me. Put six gigs of RAM, because a lot of times when you buying stuff, you buying it for the specs on paper. Even if you don't, if it doesn't work in the real life, you wanna be sold the maximum for your money. If it would've said eight gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage, but really it was only four gigs of RAM, nobody would probably even notice the difference and nobody would care. People are gonna notice and care when they're spending a thousand bucks and they're looking on paper and it says four gigs of RAM, then they go online, they go to GSM Arena, and they say, let me check out the OnePlus 6T. Oh, eight gigs of RAM for 600 bucks? No, they're not feeling that and I ain't feeling that either. Next, 128 gigs worth of storage is the max. I'm not feeling that. Now, here we go again. You got Galaxy Notes, 512 gigs worth of storage. You got Apple iPhone 10s Max, 512 gigs worth of storage. They didn't even come out with 256. They just left it at 64 and 128. Now, 64, that's a joke. All right, 64 is a joke. I don't care about Google Photos because there's more to a phone than photos. People actually store in big files. Everybody don't like putting their stuff in the cloud because you can hack the cloud. Everybody, a, a lot of people that's really, you know, uh, uh, look, and I'm not even gonna get too deep into all that stuff, but some people don't like putting all the information in the cloud. They wanna have their stuff saved on hard disks, hard drives, hard SD cards. You know what I'm talking about. And not to mention, there's more stuff, apps. A lot of people like downloading a thousand apps, trying out new apps. 64 gigs, you're gonna breeze through that in a minute, and especially with 4K video, that's gonna be dead. If you're, not, if you're not into that Google Photos and all that cloud stuff, 128 gigs, that's cool, but I would have liked to have seen 256 and even 512. Keep up with the competition. Next, no face unlock. Now this is just, this is just garbage. All right, let's keep it real. This is garbage on a $1,000 phone, no facial unlock. You got Huawei coming out with phones, even Blue, companies like Blue coming out with $200 phones with facial unlock. No face unlock, that's garbage, yo. I, I'm not, I, there's no way I could try to e ease that up or, or try to say it politely. That's trash. For a thousand bucks, this phone needs to have facial unlock. Even if it's the basic, the basic OnePlus facial unlock, the one that's not the most secure in the world, it doesn't have to be iris sensor. It doesn't have to be iPhone XS, 3D face unlock. It don't have to be all that crazy stuff. Just give me a regular face unlock. Even if you go to trusted, you know, your trusted devices, you don't even have a trusted face section on that. So I'm not feeling that at all. Now on a side note, before I continue, let me say this. I really wanted to hate this phone so much. Shout out to everybody that follows me on Instagram. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When I first got this phone, I was getting ready to bash it. Now that's part of the reason why I don't get a phone on Monday and do a real review on Wednesday because a lot of times stuff got to grow on you. You got to get the hang of stuff. The phone got to give itself time to break in. Okay, cool, all that. 
But when I got this phone, it was so much drama and issues. This is actually my replacement phone. The first one I had, it was it had battery issues. The charger wasn't working. It was it was going crazy. It was going crazy. I'll talk about that more in a second. But anyway, I really wanted to hate this phone, but it did kind of grow on me. So even though I'm bashing right now, stay st stay tuned. I do like this phone. Let's keep it pushing. No face unlocked. Next, no quad deck. I right, no hi-fi deck. You playing your music, it's gonna sound regular. Now that's not the biggest deal in the world unless you somebody that has an LG V30, somebody that has an HTC U12 Plus, and you're used to using your wired headphones, you're sitting on the train and your music is bumping. When you play your music on this, even with the provided headphones, they sound good, but when you put them side by side to other phones that have quad decks, that's in the same price range, this is gonna fall short. All right, it's gonna fall short, so I don't like that. My, now, now the, here, here's the thing, all of these gripes, some of them I wouldn't even mention because I know somebody's going to say, oh, you, you did a review on this phone, you didn't mention that. Everything that I'm mentioning, the, the more I spend for the phone is the more harder I go on the review. If this phone was 500 bucks, like one plus six, I wouldn't be mentioning quad DAC and all that because you don't expect that. But for a thousand bucks, I'm expecting that. Next, no headphone jack. That shit is whack. Hashtag bars. Now, again, everybody don't really care about that, but no headphone jack. Why? There's no reason why you don't why you don't have that. You got phones like the Galaxy. Now, we could sit back. Now, this is not a comparison video, but we could sit back and try to go feature for feature. Every single feature you can do on both of these phones. It's no, it's no reason that the headphone jack taking it away is, is adding some kind of extra bonus to it. It's not like you're going to say, okay, I took away the headphone jack. That's going to give me the face unlock. No, you can have face unlock and a headphone jack. You can have face on, you, you can have a headphone jack and all of these features. Why take it away? Why take it away? So now you're just forcing people to walk around with that little dongle. Everybody don't have a, a modern up-to-date car with Bluetooth and my old car. I don't have Bluetooth. So I got to have all these dongles in my car. Every time I jump in the car, I got to grab the aux cable, look for the dongle. It ain't even like I could just take the dongle to the aux cable because I'm using iPhones and Androids going back and forth. So I don't like that. No headphone jack. That shit is whack. Next, the notch. Now the notch on this phone, this has to be literally, let me open this up. <laughs> let's go. Let, let me find let's, Let me find a web page so I can, so I can get a good laugh. Here we go. This has to be literally the biggest, ugliest, dumbest notch ever. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, but what about the dual cameras on the front? They, they need that big notch for the dual cameras on the phone. All you have to do, if you don't know, just Google a picture of the HTC U12 Plus. You got dual speakers, dual cameras on the front, and no notch. All right? You don't need this big, giant notch. And it's not, it, it doesn't even look, I understand like, even with the, the iPhones, I don't like that notch, but you're kind of used to it. Now, I made this reference before. I'll, I'll make it again. You see the notch on the iPhone. It's the same way if you see a Lamborghini with Lamborghini doors. All right, Lamborghini did that first. So they allowed to have that. You might not like the Lamborghini doors, the suicide doors. You might not like that. But that's Lamborghini's trademark. You see the doors. You know what it is. Now, you see somebody come through with a BMW M3 and they got Lamborghini doors on it. It doesn't look right. All right. It doesn't look right. Even though you didn't like the Lamborghini doors, you like it even less because that wasn't the original product that it came out on. Same thing. This big dumbass notch. This is ridiculous. Now, I know I already know. Stop typing. I know what y'all getting ready to say because none of y'all read video descriptions. All right. Read the video description or all of my videos. I know what y'all getting ready to say. Go to developer options and take away the notch. All right. Well, so let's do that real quick. And let me show you why that's trash. All right. Let me, let's go to let's go to developer options. All right, so we'll go to uh, System, Advanced, Developer Options. We're going to scroll down to Display Cutout. Now, watch this. Now, before I do that, let me pull out my mate. <laughs> Not my mate. Let me pull out Let me pull out my... What phone is this? <laughs> ah, brain freeze. All right, now let me pull out this um, Mate 20. It is a Mate. All right, Mate 20. Check this out. Now, you see that dumbass notch, right? Now, watch this. I'm going to take away the display cutout. Keep your eyes on the numbers. Hide display cutout, right? Hide. Keep your eyes on the numbers. You see how far they dropped? Let's, let's activate it again. Look how high that went back up. That's almost touching the top of the damn screen. Now, let's hide it again. Watch how far it drops. 
hide. Now look, you see, you see that bug? It didn't even hide it. Let's go to default. Hide it. Look how far that shit dropped. Why do that? Why do if you're gonna do this? You might as well have saved some money and got a Google Pixel 3. Because now all it is is just a big ass forehead that's serving no purpose. Now check this out. You see the notch on this one? Here's the default. You see, you see, let me do this in this hand so you can see. Look at the numbers. Almost touching the top of the screen. Watch when I hide the notch. You see the notch disappeared? Those numbers stayed exactly where they was. You see the notch? Disappeared. Those numbers didn't move. So you're still getting all, even though you get rid of the notch, that screen real estate on the top is still functional. On this phone, now you just got a big black bar with nothing. So hiding the notch, that's kind of whack. All right, you, you might as well leave it, but it is ugly and stupid looking. All right, so I'm not feeling the notch on this phone at all. All right, Google, hop off Apple's nutsack, come out with your own design. Now, the, the dual cameras on the front, I like that. But is it worth having that dumbass notch? I know, I just like saying that. No, all right, I'm not feeling the notch at all. All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. This shit getting me mad. Next, the camera. Now, we're going to talk how good the camera is and all that. But there's a couple of things that I don't like about the camera, such as you can't shoot 4K 60 frames per second. All right, you can't shoot 4K 60 frames per second. Now, I can keep doing this and pulling out iPhones, pulling out LG, pulling out a whole bunch of different phones. You get my idea. I spend a thousand bucks. I can't shoot 4K 60 frames per second. I know somebody's going to say, see, I I know what y'all, I know y'all hate us good. I already know what y'all be getting ready to say before y'all even say it. Oh, they're getting ready to fix that with an update and all that. I don't care about that. All right. In that case, you should have charged me 800 bucks for the phone. And then when the 4K 60 frames come out, say, okay, we need uh, we, we need another 100 bucks. Okay, cool. No, I gave you all of my money. Why, you should have gave me all of the phone. This phone came half-assed. No night shot. That um, voice transcription that just came, I didn't even use it yet. That just came. Like, no, when I, when I buy something, I want everything up front or give me a discount. You go out, you go out to buy a new car and they tell you, oh, we don't got the spare tire. You're not gonna spot the same price. You're not gonna pay the same price for that car. You're gonna be like, all right, well, look, um, you don't got this, you don't got that, you missing this option. Start subtracting from the price, if you're smart. Start, start subtracting from the price and then we're gonna work it out till it's even. You're not gonna say, okay, let me, let me pay maximum price, but it's missing a bunch of features. All right, so no 4K, 60 frames per second. Next, no pro mode. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say Google has one of the best camera processing and all that, which it does, which it does. But sometimes you might just be that one dude that likes to go and change the ISO yourself. You might like to change the white balance yourself. You don't want to depend on the computer. You want to do it yourself. No pro mode on this. Not to mention a lot of the gimmicky stuff with the camera. This doesn't have. Now, you could call me spoiled from using the note, from using the mate, from using a lot of these other phones, using an iPhone. A lot of the, the cute stuff that you got with the camera, you don't have, but this is a great camera. But again, no 4K, no pro mode. I don't like that. Next, I know I'm rambling like crazy. I love it. Next. Now this is gonna be my biggest gripe of this phone, the display. Beautiful quad HD display, I will say that. But check this out. This is max brightness, watch this. Let me put the phone on 50% brightness. I right, here's 50% brightness. I might even be a little bit generous. That might be like 55. Look at this. Just, just look at this. Now watch this. I'm going to pull out my Galaxy Note. I know now. I could be pulling out other phones, but I just happen to have my Note on me. Just so y'all know I ain't cheating. Check this out. 50% on the Note. Look at the difference. Now, I don't care how much lights I'm sitting under. I don't care about video rendering quality and all that. You can't sit here and tell me that this phone, even though the display is made by Samsung, and shout out to Samsung, yeah, I know how to do it. Don't send them, don't send them the good ones. Send them the B team. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Now, that's, that's half brightness. Imagine, let me show you something else. That's half brightness. Now, imagine you're one of those people you like to walk around your phone or maybe 25% brightness. This damn screen is not even on. This is not even on. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. All right, shout out, shout out to my dude for Modiceps. 
He triggered me a little bit on the low. I'm one of these people I can't stand having a phone that I can't see. And I can't stand when somebody's like, yo, you seen this? I'm like, what? Let, let me show you. Show, show me on your phone. And they pull out their phone, and it looks like this. My daughter does this to me all the time, and my dude Leo did this to me the other day. He's like, yeah, look, look at this. Now, that's my dude, so I ain't really say nothing, but I was triggered. I'm like, yo, why are you going to show me some shit I can't even see? Like, why are you walking around with your phone like that? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? This display is rubbish. All right? It's straight rubbish. It's straight garbage. You're going to have to rock this at max brightness. Now, at max brightness, it is beautiful. All right? It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love it at max brightness. But when you're rocking your phone at max brightness, what's going to happen? You're going to kill the battery. Now, this phone already doesn't have the best battery. So, dude, put two and two together. Rocking at max brightness to enjoy the flown, but the phone is not going to last the flown. Enjoy the phone at, at max brightness, but after two or two, three hours, your phone is dead. Your phone is dead. Now, I let me say this. The battery, I was ready to rape this battery. I, I was going to I was going to destroy this phone. And look, and, and I know a lot of y'all that know me, y'all think just because Google didn't invite me to their little event. You know, when somebody mad, they use little, you know, they didn't invite me to their little party. You know, yeah, he went out on a little date. Whenever somebody says little, that means they mad. So Google didn't invite me to their little show and all that. That's cool. Google sent everybody on the planet a review unit except me. That's cool. Now, people think I was getting ready to roast this phone just because of that, but I don't move like that. I don't move like that. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. It's only the last two years that I've been getting invited to all these kind of shows and all that. Other than that, for eight years straight, I didn't care about shows and all that. Everything I did myself. So me not getting invited, that wasn't an, an issue. I was ready to rape this phone because I spent a thousand bucks for it. And then right before that, I had to spend a thousand bucks for a couple of other phones, the Oppo, the Asus, a couple of other phones that was basically killing this phone. And this phone, the problems I had with the wireless charger. Now, I had the Pixel stand. I posted on Instagram. I plugged this phone in at eight o'clock in the morning. I forgot. Maybe I'm, I'll just give you a specific. I'm not, I don't remember the specific time, but I plugged it in. It was probably eight o'clock on the dot. It was at 78 percent. I had a feeling that something was wrong because, I, you know, it wasn't charging fast. I waited an hour, looked at the phone and went down to 73 percent. I'm like, yo, this is some back to the future type shit. My phone is charging in reverse. Now, all of the YouTube correction officers started hitting me up. Oh, you got to use the stock charge and all that, which I don't understand. Why do y'all think I'm going to spend $80 on a charger and not use the plug that came with it? Or y'all think I don't have Google. I don't know how to search uh, Pixel 3 problems. Y'all think I don't know how to troubleshoot. Y'all think I'm just going to go out and start ranting before I even do any research. Before I start ranting and say I don't like something, I tried this charger. I tried the speaking charger, the Samsung charger, the Apple charger. I tried all the different chargers, all the different phones. Every phone worked on it except for the Pixel. So I said, you know what? Something's wrong with my Pixel. Then I hit up my man, Max Lee. He said he didn't have that problem. I said, okay, cool. I'm not going to do this review yet. I'm going to give it a chance. But I had so many issues with this phone. But I digress. Where was we? Display. The display on this phone, 100% dim. 100% <laughs> dim. You buy this phone, you're going to be on max brightness status. Now, I do have a zero lemon battery. I'm going to try it at the end of this video and see if it fits. It's for my Pixel 2 XL, but it might fit. And I might be able to rock this phone on my trip. If not, got to leave it home. Now, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. So there's a couple of petty things that I got to talk about. First... The Google bar at the bottom. All right, now, I don't like this. I don't like this. Android is all about customization. Don't try to be like Apple. All right, Apple is one size fits all. Some people like that. Some people don't. I don't like that. I like customization. This is one of the only Android phones that you can't move the Google bar from the bottom. It's just stuck. Bro, I got the squeezeology. Watch this. What time is it? 1108. I got squeezeology on deck. I don't need to have the Google bar right there just looking at me all day. Maybe I want to get rid of it. Maybe I want to put it on the top. Now, have you seen any of my phones? The Google bar is always on the top. This got to be the oddball. All right, now that's kind of petty. I'm not really feeling that. Next, this little green, the little green accent. That's kind of cute. Ah, uh, yeah, that's cute. But I'm not really feeling that either. All right, it would have been nice if you had the option to choose red or black or just put it stock black. Keep the panda look going, black and white. 
This green literally matches nothing else with the phone. Now I will say this, I like the little pixel case. This is one of my dopest favorite cases. But again, here we go. More of this lime green pastel shit. I'm not really feeling that. All right, shout out to all my dudes that live in Miami. Y'all love this. All right, anybody ever went to Miami and drive around? Everybody in Miami's house is this color. Is this pink or white? I don't know what's wrong with y'all out there, but in New York, we don't really we don't really be flowing with the lime green like that. It is what it is. Next. One more thing. Now, the gestures. Let's talk about the gestures real quick. Now, I tried. I tried to like the gestures, but here's the one that I, I just hate. This gesture right here. Every time I swipe up, that's what happens. Now, when I want to get to my apps, it's like you got to concentrate to swipe up. You can't just do it fast. Like, okay, let me go to my apps. You got you to gotta really concentrate to hold your finger. I don't like that. Now, if you're going to copy off Apple, do it the same way. You see, like, if with Apple, one, you don't have to lift your finger up. Like, if I, let, let me, do I have an iPhone on me? I think I do. I think I do. Check this out. <laughs> I know, I got a big bag right here. Check this out. I'm going to show you what I was, exactly what I was talking about. iPhone, I swipe up. Watch this. Now, say, let, let's open up an app. Let's say I'm on Maps. And I want to get to something else. I swipe up. I don't, I can just, you know, I don't have to lift my finger up. This one, you got to actually lift your finger up. All right, so I got to swipe up, then lift. I know that's petty, but that's what I do. I'm petty. And my last gripe, my last gripe that I don't like about this phone, the lack of innovation. All right, 1000 bucks. There's nothing really that... This, if somebody says, what's your main reason of buying the Pixel 3 XL? I already know what a lot of y'all going to say. Oh, it has stock Android. That has the latest the latest Android build, and it's stock Android. I'm getting so tired of that argument, because stock Android these days is whack. I, not necessarily whack, but stock Android, if, if that's your biggest argument, oh, I just want a plain stock Android phone, then why are you spending a thousand bucks? Why don't you just get a, get a OnePlus? You know, like, I don't know why y'all running around bragging about having less features. Every time I argue with somebody who got a Pixel or got a stock Android phone, oh, I got the stock Android, I got the stock Android. So you proud that you got less features? You proud that you spend a thousand bucks? I spend a thousand bucks, but you don't got no iris sensor. You don't got pop-up windows. You don't got people on Apps Edge. There's a lot of stuff you can't do on your phone. You proud of that because you got stock Android? Yo, y'all got to snap out of 2013, 2014. Stock Android... The main reason you was buying stock Android is because that was making your phone run silky smooth with no lag. Nowadays, all of these skins don't lag. HCC tents, uh, Sense, no lag. LG's UI, no lag. Samsung TouchWiz, as much as everybody hates TouchWiz, you got to keep it 100. TouchWiz don't even lag anymore. So the stock Android argument, that's pretty whack. That's pretty whack. For 1000 bucks, I would have liked to have seen some innovation, All right, especially from a, com a company like Google, What's up with the on-screen fingerprint sensor? <laughs> you see that mate on-screen fingerprint sensor? What's up with the pop-up cameras? Iris sensors. Let's get some innovation. Do something. All right, and not just some cheesy software innovation. Real innovation. Now, the one innovation part about this, innovative part, is the uh, squeeze factor, the squeezology. But one thing I forgot to mention about the squeezology that I don't like is you can't assign it to anything else. Now, I already got the Google bar trapped on the front screen. Maybe I want to change the squeezeology to something else. Maybe I want to change it. Look at the HCC U12 Plus. I can squeeze it, ask it what time it is. I can also squeeze it and take a picture. I can squeeze it and take a screenshot. I can squeeze it and open up the app's edge, and it has two different levels of squeeze. One squeeze, ask what time, squeeze it even harder, take a screenshot. That's innovation. Right, that's innovation. Anyway. I know that was. The, <laughs> I know I went crazy just now. I know I'm, I'm, I might edit some of this stuff out. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Now let's get into everything that I do like. But first, I got to take a quick break. All right, y'all. So we back in now. After all of those dislikes and that whole saga, I know what some of y'all are saying to yourself. He probably don't like this phone, and that couldn't be further from the truth. This is actually my third favorite Android phone. Number one, the Mate 20. And that's partially because it still has that new phone scent. So right now, it's my new favorite. Number two, Galaxy Note 9. That's still a top dog. And number three, the Pixel 3 XL. Now, as much as I wanted to bash this phone, shout out to Google. They did it to me again. This phone grew on me. Now, I could use that same analogy that I used with the Pixel 2 XL. It applies to this phone too. 
This phone is kind of like that. Now, I never say ugly when I'm describing a person because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I just say somebody that I'm not attracted to. Somebody else will probably love them, but me, I'm just not attracted to them. This is kind of like that person that you're not attracted to, but come to find out after you hang out with them, both of y'all like to watch Star Trek and eat Doritos at three o'clock in the morning. Both of y'all like sipping thought juice and watching cartoons. Y'all, she laughing at all your jokes, you laughing at all his jokes. They good with your family and your kids and all that. Before you know it, you like the person, they grew on you. And before you know it, y'all in a relationship. That's the same way I feel about this Pixel 3 XL. When I first got it, I hated it. I hated the way it looked. I hated everything about this phone except for the speakers and the camera. I was ready to bash everything else. Android VIP, that's not a big deal for me. But after using this phone for about a week and then waiting even longer, had it for two weeks. After two weeks, this phone officially grew on me. It's now all reliable. I, I call this phone all reliable. This is my business phone. This is one of those phones that when you pull it out of your pocket, it just works. Now, same thing that I have with my Pixel 2 XL, that phone, I never reset. In the whole year of having it, I never reset that phone, and the phone doesn't even ask you to reset. Now, if you got a Galaxy Note 9, you know. Sometimes you might pick up your phone after two days of not using it. It's going to say, yo, uh, bro, you need to reset me, right? Because it already knows you got to reset. A lot of Android phones, you got to reset every couple of days. Not factory reset, just power it off, power it back on. This is one of those phones you're never going to have to turn it off, just like your iPhone. All reliable. So this is all reliable right here. Galaxy Note 9, that's the side piece. This is wifey. Let's get into everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. Now, when I first got it, I wasn't really feeling it too much. But after using it, now this is before I got the case, the white version, not the black one, the white version, no fingerprints on this. It has this kind of, now even though it's glass, but it has that kind of like polished glass to it so it doesn't feel like glass. It almost feels like a hard plastic. I didn't really like it at first, but after using it without the case for so many days, it kind of grew on me. It kind of grew on me and I like the build quality a lot. Now, it is water resistant, so you could drop it in the pool if you want does have wireless charge build quality is a1 but me this is the case right here get this google case slap it on your phone it just changes the whole dynamic of this phone it just makes it look a little bit more classy and you're gonna like the way this feels kind of feels like like a sweater that adds to the build quality for me now i know any case could do that to any phone that little g on the back i like this i like the white and gray just minus the green even the green ain't that bad it ain't that bad, but I do like it. All right, so build quality, no problems. Next, now I'm gonna try to run through this quick. I know I've been talking forever. Fingerprint sensor. I'm not big on having fingerprint sensor with no face unlock, but if you're gonna have a fingerprint sensor, at least make it where it works every single time. And this one works every single time with no effort. All I gotta do is touch the back. I don't have to aim for the middle. Set it up, it just opens up. All right, so fingerprint sensor, 100% accurate and reliable. Next. Oh, now this is it. This is my new favorite always on display. Even though it doesn't have the full customization like on the Galaxy or the V30s where you can add your picture, even though it's not fully interactable, you're swiping left and right, this always on display is so dope. I like the way the, the weather, you see right now it's cloudy, but in the daytime if it was sunny, that sun would be yellow. If it was a clear night, that moon would be blue. And the best thing about this always on display is when you get notifications. Now, this is one of those times, rare times, that I'm not getting any notifications. But if a notification pops up, it just looks so dope. This is my favorite always on display. So when I got this on the Pixel stand, and I'm just chilling, and I get a notification, it looks sick. All right, it looks sick. So the always on display, you're going to like that. You see my Pixel stand, it says bedtime. Bro, what are you talking about? I don't ever sleep. Next. The display. Now, I just ranted about the display and how much I think it was so dim and dull, but at max brightness, it's beautiful. Now, if this was just, if this was, if it was just a little bit more bright at 50%, I wouldn't have had nothing to complain about. I'm a max brightness douchebag, so I'm not gonna really, really talk about that too much, but the display, look at the blacks. You can't see that notch. You can't see them cameras. You can't see that bottom or the top. Everything just looks beautiful. All right, so the display on this, excellent. At max, at max brightness. That's the caveat, max brightness. Next, the speakers. The speakers, the speakers. The speakers on this phone, 
are ridiculous. Now, I've been getting into a few online debates. Some people saying they like the iPhone speakers better. Some people saying they like the Galaxy speakers better. Some people actually like the Razer phone speakers better. Hey, everybody got their own opinion. Not to mention, you can't really argue with somebody how they hear. You hear something different than me. Everybody has different hearing, same way everybody has different vision. This might look white to you, might look cream to somebody else. Everybody has different hearing and vision, but for me, this is my this is my personal opinion. These are the best speakers that I have right now. The best. Second would be iPhone 10s Max. Third would be it's a tie between HTC U12 and the Galaxy and the Razer. All of those phones, they all dope. But the top two, in my opinion, is the Pixel and the iPhone. Now, let me pull up some music real quick, just so you can hear what I'm talking about. Let's take it over to the tube. <laughs> take it over to the tube. Let's pull up my usual. Let's put up uh, Bike Life. I know I could have just edited this out, but that would require too much work. Pull up Bike Life. Check this out. Max volume. Watch that bass drop. Let's get that display. Woo! Let it ride. Same thing. Let's exit out of this. Speakers are ridiculous. Same thing like when you're holding an iPhone XS Max and you're playing music and you hear that bass, you feel the phone vibrating a little bit. Now, one of the downsides about the LG G7, because everybody keeps saying, how come the G7 don't make your top speakers? The G7 has the boom box. Yeah, it has the boom box, but only from the bottom. You can never compare dual speakers to a single speaker. I don't care how loud that single speaker is. Once I put my hand like this, it's muffled out. Now there's no speaker on the top. So dual speakers is the way to go. This phone right here, if you're into media and you like sitting at work on your Pixel stand, playing music and videos. Now, this is that. This is what I do all day. I rock YouTube TV. The speakers on this, sometimes you'll actually have to turn it down. You're not gonna need a Bluetooth speaker at work if you work in cubicles and offices and all that. Sometimes I actually have to turn this down when I'm watching some thought shows or some savagery. I turn it down a little because it's actually that loud. So that is one of the ultimate selling points of this phone, those speakers, insane. Next, now this is another selling point, the camera. The camera on this phone, I'm not gonna say it's the best. I know everybody's saying it's the best. Again, that, that's subjective. In my opinion, my favorite phone camera is on the Mate 20. All right, the artificial intelligence, same way it carried over from the Mate RS, that's my favorite camera. Then after that, I would say this, and the iPhone XS Max, and the Galaxy, everything falls in line. But for me, I like the artificial intelligence. I tried it versus this phone, just point and shoot. Now this does have great computer software, yada, yada, yada. It analyzes the photo, give you the best shot and all that. That's cool. But the artificial intelligence on my Mate phones, I like the Huawei Mate joints, that, it just gives me the best picture. It gives me, and when I do the Mate 20 real review, I'll, I'll do a full co camera comparison, showing you why I think it's the best camera. Point and shoot, I took pictures with the Pixel and with the Mate, put them side by side. I right, no adjusting, no playing with the blur effects, no, no, no doing nothing. The, the Mate photos just look better. But the camera on this one is so sick, and the best thing about it is night shot. That night shot is intense. Now, to do my camera, I'll do my usual routine. I just got, now I hope I, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out if I show, if, <laughs> if I get a little too savage. But let me just show you some regular pictures I took. All right, grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> insert all your racist stereotypes I, I don't care, I can take it Grape Kool-Aid, so what? This is me last night in the Apple store Alright, beautiful point and shoot shots look, look at this, beautiful Beautiful You see, when, when, you, when you hear me take it to the high voice That means I like something Beautiful, that's the high voice Apple store photo Now check this out This is what I'm talking about Watch this Alright, here's a regular photo Here's a regular photo now here's night shot. All right, let's let's do it like this. This is a night shot photo. You see the little night. Matter of fact, let me delete this one. Let's do it like this. Let's um delete the second one. Move the trash. Just so you have the regular and the night shot. All right, so here's the regular photo, and then here's the night shot. Can you see the difference? You see how this one is just a lot brighter. I got some better examples though. This one, this one right here, this is a better example. 
All right, let me show you. Check this out. Now, this is a regular photo. Look how dark this is. Just the, just the uh, shifter in the car. All right, regular nighttime photo. Then I'm going to activate night shot. Look at the difference. Now you can actually see the cup holder. You can see inside the cup holder. It just looks like I used a flash, and it was no flash. You can't even see inside the cup holder right here. Night shot, look at that. Night shot is the selling point of this phone. And like I said, you could download that if you want. Again, here it goes again. Check this out. Check this out. Regular photo. And look at the night shot. It looks like this one, I don't even have the headlights on. You see a little headlights, but look at this one. That is insane. All right, if you outside partying all night or you're a night owl, nighttime vulture like me, night shot is going to be a godsend. All right, that's not hyperbole. That's a fact. Big words alert. All right, let's keep it pushing. Let's see anything else on um, with the photos. Now, I was doing a lot. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people were saying that the audio doesn't sound that great on this. I got some videos I'll show you for yourself. To me, it sounds good. I, I, I couldn't really tell it any difference from anything else. Look at this. Portrait mode. Now, this phone does have, I would say... The second, maybe the first or second best portrait mode. Only portraits that I've seen that look better is on an iPhone. The portraits on this, though, incredible. All right, that's that bum-ass Razer phone. Again, look at this, look at this. Regular, and look at the night shot. It almost looks like I'm sitting somewhere in some dark, deserted alley. Night shot, oh, that's houses, trees. Sick, yeah. All right, now this is um that Google <laughs> Google has that little that little I'll show you how to um I forgot what it's called playground. You see, I added a little cat typing in my office. That's a little fun effect. Check this one out. Now now this is max brightness. You can barely see it. Let me wipe it down. This is the Google Playground. Everybody was asking me how did I get Captain America in my crib like that, just chilling. Google Playground is so much fun. I know you can barely see this one, but I got a better shot. It's another Captain America. Look at this. Look at this. They're feeling more economically secure and their wages were higher. Why are we still not seeing that? Captain America just right there lamping. Let's see. Uh, let's keep it pushing. All right. Nice portrait shots. This is what I was talking about. Listen to the sound on this. Is this the one? No, I got a video. I got a little launch. Check out my dude. Look at his license plates. Broke. I met this cat in the city. Shout out to my dude, Broke. <laughs> let's see what else. Uh, let's see. Regular night shots. I mean, regular. This is not even night shot. Just nighttime. Look at this. Come on, man. You got to keep it real. This camera is banging. Times Square. Photos just looking immaculate. Look at that. And this is just me, like, at a red light. Pull out my phone, snap a picture, and keep it moving. Let's see. I, I want to play this one video real quick. Just so you can hear the sound, look at this. Just so you can hear the sound. BMW, I think this is an X2. Well, I, I had to take a picture of this because I've never seen one before. I was like, yo, what is this? Portrait mode, excellent. Some regular, sh look look at this portrait mode. You see what I'm talking about? The, what is this? Uh, <laughs> the conchas? <laughs> y'all Spanish catcher, y'all know, y'all Spanish catcher, y'all know what this is here. Don't front. All right, got some maraschino cherries. Look at that background. All right, bowl noodles. <laughs> bowl noodles. All right, check out my dude Heathcliff. It's my little neighborhood cat I be feeding. It's my dude right there. All right, this is the video right here. Check this out. Now listen to the sound. Man, that sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon of saying, oh yeah, the video sound, the sound doesn't sound that good. The big boy right here. I didn't want to jump on that bandwagon because to me, the video, the, the, the sound on the video, it sounds like every other phone except for the U12 Plus. U12 Plus, that's the next level video, <laughs> video mics. But it sounds good. You're not gonna have any problems with that. The one gripe I did have, oh, matter of fact, I forgot to show you that video. Let's keep it, let me, let me show you that one real quick. 
All right, so the one little gripe that I did have with the video is when I did my usual test, I just walk around the bodega with the phone in my hand. I'm not trying to be super steady and all that and just make a little video. Now look at this. It's just not the smoothest in the world. It's still smooth, but if I show you the same video on an iPhone, you'll see the difference in smoothness. It does look amazing though. But you see it's just a little jerky here and there, giggity. Could have been a little bit smoother. But if there was some drama going on and I just happened to record it, you wouldn't be complaining. All right, check this out, hashtag work. This is that, um, the <laughs> this is the Google Playground. You see I got the Incredible Hulk up in the office. That's pretty sick. Now, if I made a video, he's actually moving and doing stuff. If you got a Google Pixel 3 XL and you never played with Playground, try it for yourself. When I posted that on Instagram, people was going crazy. I'm like, yo, if you got the Pixel, just go to the settings. Let me show you where it's at, just in case you don't know. All right, go to more, go to Playground, and it's right there. Then you could just add, let's, uh, we'll add, matter of fact, let's add, you see, you got the Incredible Hulk. Drop him down. Oh, yo, Hulk, yo, Hulk, calm down. Where'd he go? Yo, Hulk, yo, Hulk, let me, let me, let me try to shrink him. Yo, he's mad big. Yo. yo, Hulk, calm down. Let's bring Captain America in. All right, Cap, Captain is somewhere over here. You see his feet? All right, let's bring in our Iron Man. You can't really see right now because I, I got him too big. Let me see if I can zoom out and make these guys a little bit smaller. All right, well, you get the idea. <laughs> whoa, Hulk, Hulk, calm down, calm down. All right, let me exit out of this because Hulk don't like when you play around for nothing. All right, let's keep it moving. So the camera on this, the camera is a main selling point along with the speakers. Next, performance-wise. How does this work performance-wise? Now, this is a nice little feature, feature too. The home screen does rotate. I like that. A lot of phones don't do that. Don't don't sleep on how big of a deal that is if you use car chargers or wireless docks in the car You want your phone to look like this. You don't want to have it sideways <laughs> And it's facing up. Don't do that. All right, so I like home screen rotation Performance wise performance wise on this. I have no issues You can have a thousand and one apps open at the same time. The phone doesn't lag All right, We don't got to spend a lot of time talking about this if you buy a Google Pixel 3 XL you buy, buy a Google Pixel 2 XL You don't have to worry about lag all right, so we don't even got to talk about that too much. Opens and closes all the apps nice and fast. The RAM management ain't the best, but performance-wise, silky smooth. That's why this is my work phone. Next, battery life. Now, this is part of the reason I hated this phone at first. The one I had, it had a defective battery. Now, I took some screenshots. I'm not even going to show them right now because it doesn't make sense because it was a defective phone. But the first screenshot, I had two hours and 30 minutes worth of on-screen time. That was just sitting just like this, phone on the dock, watching YouTube, YouTube TV. Two hours and 16 minutes later, phone was dead. Now, of course, that was maximum brightness, so you could just add another hour to that at, as dim as this is, you would've needed 75. Okay, cool, next picture, almost three hours, battery dead, I was ready to bash. Everybody's saying, wait for the update, wait for the update. It wasn't the update, I had a defective joint. So now that I got it, battery life on this, as much as it hurts me to say it, it's pretty good. Now I know, I don't even know this guy's name. I know he's on Instagram right now, smiling. Cause he was like, oh, I got the pixel, my battery, I get six hours. I called him a fucking liar. I said, you ain't getting no six hours on 75% battery. Get out of here, man. I, I, I straight up, I kind of dissed him a little bit in a friendly way, like we going back and forth. I know he can't wait to watch this video and say, I told you so. so all right, so I'm a man. I made a mistake. I had a I had a defective battery. The battery life on this is pretty good. All right, I can easily get, and this is max brightness. I could easily get four and a half to five hours max brightness. So if you're not a scumbag and you activate your battery saving tricks and tips, power save mode, turn off the ambient display, do all the you know the battery saving features that this phone has. If you not do them, use them. If you use all the battery saving features, you can easily get an eight hour day out of this easily. All right, so the battery life, I'm happy to say that it does it does uh, last the test. It does pass my test. Next, let's talk about the lag factor real quick. I just mentioned that, no lag. I, I just got to mention that, no lag. And, of course, the floss factor. All right, now, 
Y'all know what the flaws factor is. I ain't got to dump 100 phones on the table. You know what the flaws factor is. When you pull out your Pixel 3 XL, where are you on the food chain? Are you on the top? Like somebody with that big boy Galaxy Note 9 or that mate? Are you in the uh, peasant realm with somebody with this LG G6? You kind of in the peasant realm a little bit. Where do you fit in? I would say the flaws factor on this one I put a number on this. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most, I'd give this a solid 7, especially with this case. Matter of fact, this case might push you to a 7.5, but you ain't really shutting nobody down. You might be doing your thing here and there, but you go into the bar and you get into the phone wars. You ain't even got facial unlock. You need to calm down. All right, you ain't got facial unlock. You ain't got expandable memory. You don't have an IR blaster. You don't got an S Pen. You you basically just need to chill out and, and watch the phone wars from the side and hope nobody notice you. All right, take some pictures. You do got a dope camera. Take some pictures of the phone wars going on, but don't try to get involved. All right, because you're gonna get roasted. Now, as far as accessories, the Pixel stand, I do love it. All right, now I haven't I haven't been taking full advantage of it, even though I will say this. The other day I woke up, I'm not gonna say it. Y'all know you know that. Hey Google, I'm not gonna say it, but I said, Hey Google, I said good morning. Yo, the phone started, <laughs> the phone started giving me the weather, the time, and then it started playing the news. Right, so I'm like, like, hey, cool. I'm waiting for it to turn off. This shit was like a straight episode, a straight, a straight CNN show. You know what I'm saying? It was a straight Fox News broadcast. It was it went on for like one hour straight on the charger, just telling all different news stories and all this crazy stuff. So the pixel stand, I do like it. If you got the white pixel, it is a nice match. But I would say, accessory wise, the best accessory to get is this case. Now I just ordered the blue one and the uh, carbon one. So this is light gray. I forgot the actual name of it, but they have one that's kind of black and they have a navy blue one. I just ordered those two. I'll update y'all on Instagram. I'm not going to make a separate video. Anyway, overall, what I say, go out and get a Pixel 3 XL for a thousand bucks. I would say if you into, if you want a nice point and shoot camera, you want some banging speakers, and you just one of these people that love stock Android, which in some ways it's kind of good because you do get the uh, the newest version of, up, of Android updates. That is kind of good. At the same time, it is kind of whack, though, because if you think about it, the last couple of updates, remember when you had Gingerbread or you had Android um, uh, Oreo? Not Oreo. Say you had um, Lollipop, all right, from Gingerbread, Lollipop, all the old ones, Marshmallow. When you had the those old versions of Android and a new one was coming out, you couldn't wait because it had some dope new features. Everything looked different. It was just crazy. But if you notice, the last couple of updates from our uh, Android... Um, <laughs> Optimus Prime, the Android VIP. The difference is not really that much. Those gestures, they could keep that. The always on display, I do like, but it's not really enough as a big selling point. So, as I was saying, for a thousand bucks, I would recommend getting something else. If you just want that stock Android feel, get a OnePlus. If you want a dope camera, get a Galaxy or get a Huawei. But I can't hate on this phone. I just can't I just can't co-sign it for a thousand bucks. Maybe the price will drop. Maybe you got some trade in value. You got some other phones you could trade in. Cool. But for a thousand bucks, I can't co-sign it with the stamp of approval. But I do love it. <laughs> now that I already got it. And it is my new work phone. Anyway, Pixel 3 XL. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And let me know if I talk too much. <laughs> Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. 
all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna tell you why I hate these Apple AirPods. <laughs>